Hello students, we will see about uh, a predominant uh, routing protocol in Leech Pro, uh, that is we call it as a Leech protocol in wireless sensor networks and is abbreviated as low energy adaptive clustering hierarchy and this overview of the routing protocol, it's protocol basics, we go through a protocol basics, phases, working principle and what are the advantages and disadvantages and the protocol basics, it is a TDMA based uh, MAC protocol, it's a time division multiple access based protocol it follows hierarchical model and it adapts cluster based routing and its general architecture or working principle of the leech protocol where uh, here dotted uh, circle refers to the cluster heads and other uh, cluster um, non-cluster heads or otherwise cluster members they collect the data and send it to the cluster head and the cluster head transmit the data to the base station this is the working principle of the leech protocol now the entire working principle is classified into or divided into two phases one is setup phase and steady state phase the first phase setup phase we are having sub uh, phases like cluster head advertisement cluster setup and the creation of uh, transmission schedule and the first cluster head advertisement it follows the randomized rotation so every cluster member will get an equal opportunity of becoming cluster head and a cluster head sends the advertisement packet information to other nodes as it's selected as a cluster head based on the following formula here this t of n there is a threshold uh, t of n refers to threshold value it is refers to p by 1 minus p into r mod 1 by p where p r refers to the current round and p refers to the probability of becoming a cluster head and a random number is generated between 0 and 1 for each uh, cluster member and if that number is less than the threshold, that will become a cluster head. So yeah, here load balance is adapted since every uh, member will like, get an equal opportunity of becoming a cluster head. And then you go for a cluster setup. These are non-cluster heads. They send a joint request to join in a particular cluster. cluster. And in the cluster heads, non-cluster heads, they uh, turn on the transmitter only when they need to transmit any data. Otherwise, they will keep the transmitter in off mode to preserve the electricity and in uh, creation of transmission module uh, the cluster head will create a transmission schedule for the members so that the members should transmit the data in that particular schedule or in that particular trans slot alone and in and we go for a steady state phase the second phase here the non cluster heads they transmit their data to the cluster head in their allocated time slot because to prevent or the interference we need to follow the strategy and the clusters follows the cdma to transmit the data so that it reduces the uh, interference and the cluster head aggregates all the data what you have collected from the cluster members it cl aggregates all the data and it transmits to the centralized station base station through a gateway node or otherwise through another uh, member what are the advantages of this method? So here the entire data is aggregated with a cluster member. So the, it reduces the traffic and it follows a single route, single hop routing strategy. So the energy consumption is naturally reduced. And what are the uh, disadvantages here? If one particular cluster head is compromised, then the entire data collected by the clusters will get lost. So it's a very dangerous uh, um, disadvantage of this. And the clusters are divided randomly, so there is a prob there is a probability of uneven distribution. It's not good for a network. And here the residual energy is not at all considered, so that is one of the drawback. Security threats. There are a lot of security threats uh, to this protocol, like civil attacks, active forwarding, sinkhole, like hello flooding. There are a lot more attacks are possible for this uh, particular uh, uh, protocol. And many versions of Leech have been evolved all these year all these year years like E is it leech that's called energy zone leech and DL that is uh, dual hop and COG leech that's cognitive leech and I leech improved leech so a lot of leech uh, varieties have uh, evolved in this uh, era and that is it's an interesting research topic of for um, finding a new research uh, finding a new uh, routing strategies for a cluster based routing protocol so leech is one of the basic routing protocol basic clustering based routing protocol so from this we can uh, move to in move in different directions and thanks for watching